and stay my blade long enough to follow him, he'll lead me to his Templar brothers. I'll have more names for my list. <laughs> What's going on here? Are they late? They haven't seen me, this much I know. Wondrous deeds he has performed for the good of all. <laughs> well, toss a dwarf and call me Donna. What are you and the others planning, Jacopo? Salty <clears throat> monkey, here. Your letter mentioned Venezia. Are there Templars there as well?
Buy me a little time. How many men are responsible for my father's death? I'm sorry, Maestro. I did all I could, but the assassin proved too strong. Clearly. As the others would be here with you. To say nothing of the fact that Firenze remains in Medici hands. It's Francesco's fault. His impatience made him reckless. I, I tried to be the voice of reason. More like the voice of cowardice. You're one to talk, Signor Barbarigo. Had you sent us quality weapons instead of this garbage you Venetians call armament. We put our faith in your family, and you repay us with inaction and incompetence? Then when asked to account for your failures, you make excuses and insult us? How do you expect me to respond? I don't know. It's all right. I do. Uh, uh, no. Please. No, no, don't. <laughs> Please don't what? I can fix this. Only spare me. No. What a mess. So sorry to have claimed your prize. Assassin! Did you honestly think I wouldn't expect you to follow? That I didn't plan for it? We've been at this a lot longer than you. Kill him. I know you're only doing as you're told. So if you release me, I will spare your lives. Ha! Listen to this! Ah! I will do whatever you say. You don't have <laughs> Vai amico, libero da fardelli e paure, requiesca di pace.